Hi Erica, I wanted to um, show you around my Canvas uh, course, certification course that I had. So um, this is where we got started in the first face-to-face -face session. Um, and then we had the second session, half of which was face-to-face, -face, and then we had the third session, which we did on our own. So I'm going to click on each of these and having you, um, so you can see sort of what's in each one. Um, and maybe this will help you kind of understand. The congratulations meant I already finished it, but I want to show you each section. So um, the first section, <clears throat> there was an introduction, a question board. Um, this was the modules. And it had overview, getting started. Here were the things that were the basics. Computer requirements, getting oriented set the preference and profile, practice site, a self-assessment. So for each section we had like a self, we had like an assessment quiz. Then we went to accessibility and looked at issues about, you know, color, um, captioning videos, all of that. The, our campus is an OE school, so OEI school, excuse me, so we had to follow kind of strict ADA requirements. And then we looked at course design, the syllabus, managing files. And again, for each of these, we had a quiz. Um, just so you get a sense of some of this stuff, um, there was like discussions. And so there would be like, on this, there would be notes and how to introduce yourself, videos. So all of this was like really kind of like heavy content <laughs> you know each of these had like major sections to kind of show you each step and then for every section there was a learn more part for like using canvas so I just wanted to show you that um, so setting preferences and profile accessibility I already showed you that um, laying the foundation tasks and assessment um, a practice site task, and then we started on a practice site, creating a roadmap, clean up and review, um, engaging students, and then getting certified. So this was the overview section. And then the second one, the second section focused on um, assignment overview, like how to set up assignments and groups, how to set up discussions, and how to set up quizzes, and create, oh, and then we did like a practice thing in our site with creating an assignment group and task and assessment. I've, I've done groups before in my in-person class just for like, like group presentations, and I've used the group assignment task thing. It's pretty cool. It's pretty easy to use. Um, and like publishing your site, how to publish them, and how to engage students, how to assess students. They talked about Gradebook and SpeedGrader, which I love, and how to use a student analytics, and um, again, the getting certified part and next steps. And then the last section we did was this part on um, cultivating. So this was... Um, a section again on creating a roadmap with your modules and publishing your course a little bit more on that how to use student view which was helpful um, difference differences between conversations announcements calendar the calendar feature is great I, I do my office hours using that um, looking at the, how to set up the grading like I weight my grade so how to set up that um, and then um, there was kind of a cool thing to, it wasn't on here, but about how to use the larger Canvas community groups and how to post stuff and get information off there. So that was all really helpful as well. So, so those were the three areas. Again, it was like an 18 hour session. Um, and then they have this like, you know, resource thing for us um, afterwards. So anyway, I just want to let you know that, um, and so you can see like that was the home. These were the, the modules which I showed you, the assignments that we did for the class.
Um, these were all the assignments and then like my points for each thing of what we had to do. Quizzes that we had to take or make. Or these are the ones we had to take, sorry. And surveys and then discussions that were posted and that we actually posted back um, on some of them. And then announcements, like how to set an announcement. And then the chat feature. So that was all that we had. Um, I just wanted to let you know and give you a sense of what the, what it looked like for my account. There's my little avatar thing. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions about it and, um, maybe we could talk more about how to move material over. I would love, love, love if there's any possibility, um, in fall, cause I'm going to set up a fully online course for English 100 at Foothill, um, this summer. And I would love to take a lot of that content and just switch it over and be able to use Canvas for the fall. Maybe I can't because I'm not part of the pilot, but it would be really wonderful if there's a way I could do that rather than going back to web access again. <laughs> anyway, let me know, and I look forward to working with you. Thanks.